Google offers new Nexus customers some free media. Rumors have a Microsoft Surface 2 in the works, and Nokia's new job posting points to Android. I'm Jaime Rivera, wondering what a Nokia Android device would look like. And this is Pocket Now Daily. That's right, if Nexus devices are your thing this holiday season, Google seems to be offering free media to new customers. The reason why I say it seems is because even though the movies being offered are not jaw-dropping, it's always great to have a free copy of Transformers Dark Side of the Moon, but the problem is that they made this same offer when the Nexus 7 was launched, and I never got my free movie. So check out Google Play and leave us a comment if you really got the movie or not, because I didn't. Now Android 4.2 seems to have more glitches than we expected. I for one created a family account for the Nexus 7 and now I can't log back on to my old administrator account because it doesn't remember my password. Other people are complaining about opacity in applications meaning that they're running a game and they can see another application in the background for some reason. So leave us a comment if you're having these issues and Android 4.2 point something to fix these issues couldn't come soon enough. I can't even wipe my tablet now. And that's right, we're going to talk about more Nexus devices. ASUS's new listing has a new tablet called the ME172V, and even though the specs are nothing to smile about, they're actually mid-tiered, the specs show that the device will cost 99 bucks. Rumors have it that ASUS is working on a new, cheaper version of the Nexus 7 to be sold sometime next year. Now, even though cheap is not necessarily good, ASUS did a really good job with the Nexus 7, so let's see what they bring. Microsoft is already rumored to be working on new Surface devices for next year, though this time, instead of launching two tablets that look the same but don't have the same operating system, Microsoft apparently will bring an 8.6 inch display for the Windows RT variant, and then they'll bring the 11.6 inch display only for the Pro version. Rumors also have a Surface Book in the works with 14.6 inches in the display, so let's just hope that this time these devices do cut a break to Microsoft, because sadly the Surface RT wasn't that hot or at least not good enough. And finally, for the unexpected news of the day, Nokia's new job posting points to them looking for a Linux engineer, and we all know what Android's made of. Now, some of us believe that all this has to do is with Nokia apps, but others are speculating that Nokia's becoming tired of waiting for Windows Phone to take off after two years, and we don't blame them. So that leads us to the question of the day. Would you think that Nokia would actually ditch Windows Phone to move on to Android? In my particular case, I would love for them to do so. I would love to see a Nokia beautiful device having Android, stock Android, hopefully, but leave us a comment down below. And if you want an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on pocketnow.com. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks for watching.